just so that you know, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to flip the switch on my bike, it's, turn it on, yep. flip my mask down, mm -hmm. and then kick it into first gear and then go. Okay. All right? So just wait until the drone goes up. You can do an intro while the drone's there. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. It sure looks like it's gonna rain, bitches. Peace out. Uh, there's a slight chance that I'm gonna get rained on today. Oh, shit. It was so nice. It was so nice up until right now. If you were wondering, this is what's going on. I'm about to get run the fuck over by this truck. Yeah. I'm about to shoot a motovlog, but what's going on right now is my dad's using the drone, and uh, my brother is using his camera. We're shooting my trailer. Squaw. So what I'm going to do is uh, you're going to film me and follow me, and then I'm just going to go off and do a motovlog. See you later. Peace out, drone bitches. <laughs> My neighbors think I'm nuts. I don't give a fudge. Well, hello and welcome to another motor vlog with Capamura. We got a lot going on today. Can I see the drone? He's following me. I feel like I'm on Mission Impossible right now, or I am Mission. I'm like Tom Cruise. Yeah, bitches. Woo! He's following me as I bank around. He's shooting bullets at me, man. He's shooting bullets at me. Oh, shit. Oh, he nipped my ass. He nipped my ass. Oh, fuck. That's not good. Oh, shit. Fuck me. Fuck me. I don't know where he went. So what happened was <laughs> today we were shooting the trailer to my motovlog channel. Uh, the one that I currently have up right now is kind of shitty and uh, low budget. So I decided that I sh since my brother was home for Christmas, I would get him to shoot a legitimate trailer for my motovlog channel. The drone that you just saw is my dad's. He's like big into helicopters and he used to fly them and shit. I think I've talked about that before. Yeah, he's decided, he's like, oh, why don't I follow you with a drone? Which, I'm not quite sure where he actually is at this point. But he's probably following me. Uh, what happened? Did we lose the drone? Should I go somewhere that's not so tree? Tree. -y. I made that up, didn't I? Oh, it's windy as fuck. He's going to hit these power lines if he doesn't watch out. Well, I might as well film this because uh, if he hits the power lines, it'll be real fucking funny and I'll get like a ton of hits from it. I'll do like the uh, the Rock Johnson, pretend that I got clips in my wrist like this. Woo! <laughs> um, um, he's really fucking close to my head. Holy shit! <laughs> oh, mailbox. He's pointing that. See that little white thing? He's uh, he's pointing that the little white bulb is the actual camera. I do not trust him this close to me. Look how close. He's so close, it's not even funny. Holy fuck. Look how close it is. <laughs> Holy shit. All right, guys. That was fun, wasn't it? Now, that was a little different. What other motor vlogs you know getting filmed by drones and shit? Oh. Mm -hmm. I haven't wheelied in a very long time. So, uh, this is about to get interesting. <laughs> Oh yeah, I got it off the ground that time. Oh yeah, baby, I'm getting it. Oh, I got first gear wheelies, first gear wheelies, first gear wheelies. I can wheelie a little bit, probably like six inches off of the ground, but six inches is good enough. Yeah, lady, six inches is good enough. It's average, but it's good enough. Oh, that's the guy with the motorcycle. I just found out he has a motorcycle. That's the guy with that ugly ass Jeep. But he's got a motorcycle, so he's really cool. You probably didn't go to school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, I haven't filmed a motor vlog in God knows how long because nice truck, dude. Well, because it's been fucking cold as shit outside. 
This is the first weekend that it's not like negative tits degrees outside. It's gonna be hard for me to, to shoot a lot of footage. It's not as bad as six foot. Six foot's up in like Canada somewhere. I think he's in Toronto. I, I should know, I just sent them a fucking package. Yeah, it's not gonna be as bad as that. I think Walter, he's somewhere that gets cold maybe. Uh, but New Jersey gets pretty cold and this past week and the past two weeks it's been like a high of 30 degrees. On the weekend it's been raining. So it's like, fuck, I can't even get a chance. But the good news is, is that we have already passed the longest day of the year. And that means that it will continuously keep staying lighter and lighter outside, uh, which is great news for motovlogging because that means by the time I get home eventually hopefully soon in the near future it will be light out and I can start vlogging after work well, you know one of the things that I wanted to talk about was that what I just did today and what I just did today was I sent three packages out four packages sorry can't count and the packages included two stickers a, a little a little love letter and a t-shirt one of my original t-shirts and the four people that I sent it out to were Do It Dan, Baker X Derek, Hunter Honda, and Six Foot Bull. So I just wanted to show them my appreciation for getting me into the uh, hobby of motovlogging because, like a lot of you out there, I have a normal five or uh, five to nine. Uh, da, 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 what? A nine to five job, and it's kind of boring. I mean, I know people are like oh, do what you love. Or, or love, work with, do what you love and you'll never work a day in your life. You know, that's good and everything, but I guess the second best thing is to make money and then I'm, in my spare time make motovlogs. And that was the whole point of me sending out those things to those guys, was just to show their my appreciation to those top uh, motovloggers for really getting me into the hobby. Because I had no idea about it until like last year, a year and a half ago. Uh, when I was just bored and looking up uh, YouTube videos for dual sport bikes. So, you know, I'm not going to get into that anymore because I already talked about why Baker X Derek has gotten me into this shit and all that good shit. Anyways, where we're going. Where we are going is a place called Delicious Orchards. I'm pretty sure that I haven't brought you guys there yet. Um, I actually used to work there when I was a youngin. Not too young. I, I had to be of legal age to work there. Yeah, I was like 16 and I was a bagger and then like 17 I was cash register person and then you know, they made me do all that shit and they, you know, it's a good, but the, 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 the point is, is that it's a very good place to work, uh, if you like to be a dick. They have really good food and it's, it's known all around the area for their organic shit and, and, and it's just like really, really popular. So I'm going to show you guys that. I know a lot of people come down here on the weekends from New York and Pennsylvania and, and shit to go here. So I figured I live right down the street, so I might as well. Ooh, that's my bank. Might as well show you guys a little history for your dick heads. So I'm probably gonna get a P.O. box. I was looking into that shit. Hopefully nobody slams into the back of me right into this fucking thing. Oh yeah, I was looking into P.O. boxes and I got, I have to get more subscribers first before I do that. A couple of you guys have reached out to me and was like, oh, let me send you shit or something. Right at this point in time, I only have like 600 subscribers and that would be a little pointless for me to spend like a hundred bucks a year just to get like a couple letters so hopefully if my new year's resolution comes true i will have 5,000 subscribers uh, by december 31st so let's see this is the first time that i'm recording me saying that i think uh that's my resolution to get 5k subscribers by by um by next year so i mean it's gonna be a feat and a half but i'm hoping that uh you know people will like my, the videos i'm putting out and shit here is motherfucking delicious orchards it's actually not that busy uh the busy season for this place was uh like november and december and that is because fucking uh thanksgiving and shit you know everybody's buying shit and stuff like that for thanksgiving and christmas and food so this is what it is it's kind of an organic fucking place a farmer's market not no i don't know why i said that um, but it's cool. Uh, it's not open on Mondays. And uh, if you want to go and check it out, they have killer donuts and bakery pastries and shit. I'm going to let these people go because I'm nice like that. Pretty much I worked there and we got to eat all the goodies and stuff like that. 
It was a ton of fun. I guess one of the other things that I could show you while we're out this way is Donald Trump. Take over the world when I'm on my Donald Trump shit. Look at all this money. Ain't that some shit? Wait, what? Did you just say Donald Trump? Yeah. I'm gonna turn into Trump National Road. That's exactly what this says right here. Trump what it is is pretty much Donald Trump's fucking golf course and shit I don't think anybody's gonna stop me it's private so I'm not gonna go back there uh, National Golf Club Colts Neck it's pretty sick it's actually really nice I guess that's I guess that's the kind of gate that he's gonna put up across the Mexican border something like that I don't know, I guess if Mexicans were to try to jump over that fence, they would get their anuses impaled by those little sharp things on there. Uh, so yeah, good looks. That's a, So far, so good with the wall, man. That looks real good. But yeah, it's just a golf course. It's like a really fancy golf course. Again, my, my town is, uh, is on the rich side of things, besides myself and a couple of people that I know, because we live in, like, farm town shit. He came to my town, and he decided we're going to build, uh, build a Trump National Golf Course, because that's what we do here. Now, I don't know what... This look kind of looks cool. I'm really scared, because I could be going into a lair, a lair, and by going into a lair would result in me getting my asshole shot because it's a military base. And I know there's some secret areas by accident you, you can end up there, so I don't want to. What the hell is that? It's like a statue of some guy like pushing the other guy up in the air. Oh, he's on a, he's on a hypothetical swing. I'll show you a hypo, hypothetical swing. Swing a mod. Oh, that turned into a BP. I didn't know that. Do not enter. Oh, fuck. I always get myself into these situations where I don't know where the hell I'm going. Yeah, fuck you, bitches. It was like 40 degrees today, so I decided to go out, but now it's just getting really fucking chilly and I'm cold as shit. Oh, yeah. Fuck you. Don't fucking cut me off or I'll kick your asses. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You guys have a great weekend. And you're not freezing your tip off like I am right now. If uh, you moto vloggers are, are opening up your presents, they should be at your house on Tuesday. So I might post this on Monday. Yeah, it's Saturday right now. I don't know why I'm talking like that. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. And look at all my other fucking channels. Or I don't have any other channels, but, you know, social media shits and stuff like that. You know, it's all the social medias, it's the same thing. I tried to keep it simple. It's just Capamura. C-A-P-P-A-M-U-R-A. -P -P -A -A. Peace out. Peace out.